From your local election headquarters, this is Eyewitness Newsmakers with your hosts, Jane Ann Bugda and Andy Mahalshik. Hello and welcome to Newsmakers from your local election headquarters. I'm Andy Mahalshik. And I'm Jane Ann Bugda. Today we're featuring the candidates for the State House seat in the 123rd District in Schuylkill County. This was the seat held for several years by Democrat Neil Goodman, who decided not to seek re-election. And we'll be joined by Republican candidate Tim Twardzik and Democratic candidate Peter P.J. Simons. We'll also have more information on PAHomepage.com. The conversation begins when this edition of Newsmakers from your local election headquarters begins right after this. And welcome back to Eyewitness News from your local election headquarters. Andy Mahalshik along with Jane Ann Bugda. And on this segment, we're talking to Tim Twardzik, who's running for the Republican. He's a Republican candidate in the 123rd district, which includes most of Schuylkill County. Uh, first of all, Mr. Twardzik, thank you for joining us today on your local election headquarters, uh, Eyewitness Newsmakers. First of all, let me, the first question, of course, tell us about yourself a little bit and uh, uh, why did you decide to run for office? Well, I'm a Schuylkill County native. Uh, grew up here, um, raised my family here, uh, went to work in our family business here, and um, wanted to try to give back to our community. I've been all, always busy uh, with uh, activities involving the children growing up and in economic development, and it's a great opportunity to uh, give back to the community that uh, has been so good to us. So. Today we want our viewers to get to know you a little bit better and in this time of COVID-19. So tell us about some of the top priorities of your campaign. Well, what we need to do, of course, is try to get Pennsylvania opened up safely. It's been a, a wild six months and nothing like this uh, we've ever experienced. But uh, people want to get back to work. This is the, the good coal mining region where people, you know, did a fair day's work for a fair day's wage. Sometimes it wasn't that fair, but uh, they took pride in their work and they want to get back and, and supply and support their family and uh, you know go on with their lives. It's been very difficult, um, but I decided I wanted to try to run because it was time for me to give back to our community. Um, we've been involved in running our business, Mrs. T's Pierogies, and uh, the people here have allowed us to make a great living. And now we want to try to you know, continue to serve our community, this time maybe in Harrisburg. Okay, Mr. Twardzik, how do you, what's your estimation, your assessment, I should say, of how the state has handled the COVID-19 pandemic from top to bottom? What's your take on it? It's been very difficult because it's something new that we've never experienced before, but um, I don't think it's really been fair to small areas like uh, Schuylkill County and most of our you know, regions where we haven't had the problems. If the problems exist in the big city, that's where they should have concentrated and let us get back to business. Again, having big businesses survive and all our small businesses crushed is very difficult for our communities. And you talk about our communities and in our area. How do we bring jobs into our area and how do we help rejuvenate our economy? Well, I've been involved with uh, economic development for many years. I was past chairman of the Schuylkill Economic Development Corporation, and the job is to recruit and retain uh, jobs for our communities. We've worked uh, with the High Ridge Industrial Park. has been a great success for us. We took an empty plot of ground, and now there's 3,000 plus employees working at uh, you know many businesses including Wegmans, the best place to work in Pennsylvania. They've expanded three times. They really appreciate the workforce we have, and um, it's given us an opportunity to grow. Uh, be because of our location, we're terrific at um, transportation and distribution, but we want to get back to manufacturing. The people in, in our area are really good at manufacturing. They care about their jobs. If we could re recruit pharmaceuticals now that we need to make them in America again, that would be a priority to bring them into our area. You know, well, as you well know, one of the big concerns for generations uh, is property tax reform. Property mm -hmm. taxes in general, we have a, a, a large a senior elderly population. What do we tell the folks do you have to be concerned if you are elected about property taxes? What's your take on, on property taxes moving forward? I, I would love to move forward and try to work on uh, eliminating property taxes. You've worked hard all your life. You've paid off your home, and now you're paying a mortgage to the government. It uh, is an unfair tax. It hurts our seniors and young families. 
and it's not really equitable. Uh, it, it doesn't fund our schools well, and it uh, costs people um, their homes. So I would like to try to find a way, and I would I will vote to eliminate property tax. A lot of people were afraid to do that, but I won't be because I want to see something happen. It's been going on and on forever. There's a better way to spread that uh, pain of property tax through consumption taxes, maybe, but we, we have to get a, away from the property tax. It really hurts small towns, and that adds to our blight problem. Again, we have abandoned homes, so uh, we need to figure out how to get rid of abandoned homes, work on fixing the houses we have, tear them down, get some green space. We were very densely populated as we grew in industrial revolution with the coal. But now that we've lost a lot of people, we have to fix our towns because we need to attract more people to come to them. Another hot topic in the uh, Commonwealth is the legalization of marijuana. What is your take on that? I think it's a terrible idea that the governor wants to try to fund and, and raise money and, and, and on legalizing marijuana when it's, it's a problem. Uh, we have enough problems right now to add, and that's not the right way to raise money, is to stick a tax on marijuana when the uh, American pediatric doesn't, you know, is concerned about what marijuana does to young people. Again, look at Colorado, look at the cities that have legalized it, the, the people uh, we're worried about getting a good workforce. Well, you don't need a workforce that uh, has a problem with marijuana. It, it's a difficult decision, but I, I'm definitely not going to vote to approve that legalization. Okay. There's too many downsides to that. And there's got to be, a, you know, it's, it's, it's really a crazy way to say we're going to raise money. It's, it's not right. Uh, Mr. Twardzik, from uh, the issue of health care reform, it's really more of a federal issue, but from the state perspective, if you're elected uh, to the 123rd seat, what would you do to help push, uh, first of all, the health care system in the United States, and specifically in Pennsylvania, how it impacts all of us here in the Commonwealth? What would you do? What's your take on that? The health care is an important issue. We need to make sure people are covered. And... Um, I've, I've served on the hospital board for the past four years. We were able to turn our hospital around, save 1,200 jobs, and still continue to give good care. But it's, uh, it's important that we provide good health care. It, it's an expensive proposition. We need to get uh, people the opportunity to choose their health care providers. It's not a one-size-fits-all. We shouldn't force uh, a single payer. There's opportunities. Uh, we've introduced uh, urgent care, which is taking people out of the emergency room so they get better care. It's less expensive. It opens up the emergency room so you're not crowded. You're not getting a huge bill. Um, so, yes, health care is important, and I would be very happy to work for the people to make sure they can get the health care they need. And finally, one last question. We want you to face the camera, talk to the voters, and tell them why they should elect you to the state the House of Representatives. Well, I'm, I'm grateful for the community support that um, they've given our family business. I grew up in Schuylkill County. I worked at our family business. Um, my parents raised me to be respectful and to care for people, and I've done that through my entire career. I've been involved in a lot of uh, outside interests, working with the community of economic, economic development, the Chamber of Commerce. I've had volunteered and had leadership positions in all those programs. I've worked with the scouting program, the volunteer fire school to help them build their burn buildings. I've done a lot of fundraising and capital campaigns. Uh, it's just a wonderful opportunity to serve my community in a new role in Harrisburg. Uh, the coal region work ethic and the drive and my business experience is going to help me support and promote the good people of Schuylkill County. I respectfully ask for your vote, whether it's by mail or absentee ballot or on November 3rd. I'm Tim Twardzik. I'm ready to step up and serve all the people of the 123rd. Okay, Mr. Twardzik, thank you very much for taking time out tonight. Uh, and uh, spending time with us and giving us your viewpoints on different issues. And we'll talk to you soon. Thanks again for being with us tonight. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.
Okay, that's Mr. Yeah. Tim Tortzik, the uh, Republican candidate for the 123rd State House seat, which encompasses much of Schuylkill County here on Eyewitness News, the local election headquarters. And we'll be right back right after this. And welcome back to Eyewitness Newsmakers from your local election headquarters. Andy Mahalshik along with our producer, Jane Ann Bugda. And our guest on this segment is Democrat candidate for the 123rd District in Schuylkill County, Peter P.J. Simons. Mr. Simons, thank you for joining us today on Eyewitness Newsmakers. And thank you for having us today. Let me start with the first question. Uh, why did you decide to run for office? And first of all, tell our viewers a little bit about yourself and why you decided to run for public office. Okay, uh, I'm a retired railroader. I started right out of high school on the railroad, the original Reading Railroad. Uh, worked my way up to uh, director of track. And in 1995, I ran for prothonotary and was elected to school county prothonotary, which I enjoyed uh, the public service, helping people. Back then it was with their passports and uh, other types of civil uh, proceedings. but. I enjoyed always the opportunity to help people. And with uh, Neil Goodman retiring, I thought it'd be an opportunity to uh, go on a little farther, get to the state level and, and, and you know, give a little bit back to the 123rd. It's a district I grew up in. It's a blue collar district. Uh, being the fourth generation railroad worker, uh, I believe I can help a lot of people in this district just from my upbringing. And today, you know, the purpose of our gathering is just to learn a little bit more about you and for the viewers and for the voters at home. So tell us a little bit about the top priorities of your campaign. Okay, the number one is tax reform uh, and, and our roads repairs, our roads need to be repaired. And we do have some uh, blight communities. So working uh, with Harrisburg, the other representatives, I believe that we can work together to get some of our roads repaired and work uh, with the opportunity to change uh, the tax reform that everybody in this district and throughout the Commonwealth are looking for. So I think uh, me being at the end of my, not at the end of my career, but having a uh, political career and a career in the uh, private sector, I believe that I can go to Harrisburg and do a little change down there or, or fix things up a little better. Mr. Simons, of course, the big issue, the reason we're doing an interview uh, via Zoom is because of the COVID-19 pandemic. We, uh, so what is your assessment of how the state has handled the pandemic uh, from Harrisburg? The viewpoint from Harrisburg, have you handled it well? And if not, how would you change the handling of the COVID-19 pandemic, moving, how it's been handled so far and moving forward? Well, you know, it's, it's a tough thing. It's something that uh, we're not used to dealing with. And I believe they're they're doing the best they can. I mean, uh, it's a lot on the table here, and I feel safe. Uh, the people in the 123rd right now, uh, they feel safe. So we made it through this far. I believe that they did a good job um, protecting ourselves and uh, giving some instructions on how to keep safe. And I, I thought they handled things well uh, for the, for this type of uh, pandemic that we have. It's a first time uh, situation. I believe I, they, did, they did well. And of, and of course, uh, Mr. Simons, you know, when we talk about the Commonwealth, the economy, bringing jobs to the region, how do we keep a robust uh, state economy and bring, encourage people to bring their jobs here? Well, you know, the thing is, people want to get back to work. Uh, people want to work. Uh, the 123rd, it's a blue collar district. People want to work and they uh, enjoy working. So I think with this virus coming to an, not an end, but uh, some type of control or whatever you can say is, but I, I think people want to get back to work. And I, I think the economy is going to start picking back up once everybody uh, does get back to work. I know uh, small businesses are taking a hit right now. And uh, I have a lot of friends that are in small business and uh, I pray for them that something comes back soon. The, uh, uh, be the restaurant business, uh, they're, they're really hurting right now. And I think once uh, the economy starts coming back soon, I, I think everybody will go back to work and look forward to uh, new employment. Okay, Mr. Simon, you mentioned tax reform at the outset of your interview. Uh, if you can expand, expound on that a little bit, 
what do you see, what can be done to uh, move property tax reform in Harrisburg? It's been talked about, there's been tie votes, I mean, it's been talked about. It's like the weather, people say people talk about it, but they don't get anything done about it. What difference can you make and how would you change property tax reform or how would you make it happen in Harrisburg? You know, the thing is there is uh, a lot of talk for years. Certain uh, uh, individuals or elected officials have talked about tax reform for their whole career. I, I think what we have to look at is, and I, I said this before, and I agree on the severance tax for the Marcellus sale. Shale. Uh, I believe there's a money there that we can use to go towards uh, property tax. If I get elected in Harrisburg and there's a new tax, uh, if it's on the Marcellus, Marcellus sale, shale or on something new throughout the state, I believe I will vote for something, but I won't vote for any new tax to uh, take care of the budget. I would vote for a tax to go towards tax reform. To any new tax, way it may it be, would go towards the uh, tax reform to help the people in the district and in the Commonwealth help on their property tax. And of course, in the state, a lot of talk about the legalization of recreation marijuana. What is your take on that? Well, right now, I, I, I'm not comfortable with it right now. I don't think the state's ready for it. I'm for medical marijuana. And again, if it does pass and it's taxed, it doesn't go to balance the budget. It goes towards new a new tax, towards property tax. Uh, any new taxes I would vote on, again, Marcellus Shale, or the uh, uh, tax on marijuana, would not. I would not vote on it for, uh, to balance the budget. I would vote for it to go towards tax reform to help the individuals in the state and the con and this district. A big concern, of course, almost every election year is, is health care reform, both on the national level and state level. It's more of a federal issue, we know. But from your perspective, if you would be a state representative, what would you talk about, what would you push for as far as health care reform in this country? Single payer, the way it is now, what, what, what's your opinion on that? You know, I think uh, health care reform is when someone's sick, take care of them right away uh, before it gets uh, into more complications. You know, there's, there, I, I think if we would uh, address an illness right off the bat and, and, and take care of the individual from the beginning, we would find out if there's more problems we can take care of it up front and not go into the, uh, later on, they, they're afraid to go to the doctors. Well, if we, if we address it up front and the doctors find something, they can handle it right away instead of waiting for it to get worse or, or make uh, more complications. Uh, I think if we uh, work with the uh, healthcare and provide right off the bat, uh, I think we could uh, help the people and actually help the, the, uh, the possibility of uh, taking care of, uh, you know, less bills, I could say, or less uh, uh, costs down the road for the hospitals or for the patient. And we have one last question for you. We want you to look out there and talk to the viewers and the voters and tell them why they should elect you to the State House of Representatives. Listen, and I believe a good representative is someone that listens. Someone that wants to listen to the people of, the, of their district and go to Harrisburg and then speak. Let the people speak and then take your message to Harrisburg. And that's one thing I promise I will do. I have done it as the Prothonte of Schuylkill County, have helped the uh, people of the county, which I will do in the 123rd district. I will be the voice, and I promise I will be the voice, and I will not let you down. Thank you. Okay, and thank you, uh, Peter P.J. Simons, a Democratic candidate for the 123rd district in Schuylkill County. Thanks for being with us tonight. We'll talk to you uh, in the days ahead. Okay, thank you. Thank you, and newsmakers from your local election headquarters will be back right after this. And welcome back to Why Witness Newsmakers from your local election headquarters. You just heard the candidates for the 123rd House seat in Schuylkill County. You can hear more about the positions on the various issues on pahomepage.com. 
And over there we also have more stories and information about this upcoming election. So it's pahomepage.com. For Andy Mahalshik and everyone behind the scenes, I'm Jane Ambugda. Thank you for making newsmakers from your local election headquarters part of your day. And we'll talk again next week.